Hi guys, Robert from Suburban Preppers here. I just thought to do a quick little video to give my thoughts on the devastating floods that have taken place recently in eastern Spain. So just quickly, for those not aware, there's recently been absolutely devastating floods in the Valencia region of Spain. There are over 200 people who have been killed and at the time of recording this video, there are also around about 2,000 people who are currently missing. Now just to be clear that the authorities have said they don't believe all 2,000 people are going to have sadly perished. They do believe a lot of those people are just cut off through lack of communication. You know, their mobile phone batteries have gone flat, the power cuts in the area, etc. And they're just unable to let loved ones know that they're safe. But unfortunately, I suspect out of those 2,000 people who are unaccounted for, I suspect some of them sadly will have died as well, and I expect that number to rise. So what's this got to do with prepping? Well, for those trapped in the floods and who've sadly perished, you know, there's there's nothing that prepping can do. You know, it's it's unfortunately... It's just one of those awful things that happens in a natural disaster where some people unfortunately pay the ultimate price. However, there is also a lot of people in the area now who are pretty much isolated. They have got a lack of power, a lack of utilities. There is no water going to their property through the mains pipes. So they're pretty much stuffed. And this is where prepping does come in. If that was to happen here for example where I live and I was to hopefully survive the flooding because I've got stuff stored and it also crucially is stored high up it's not all stored on ground level because I've got floods in mind and not that I live in a floodplain but who knows anything could happen in this crazy world so yeah like I say there are a lot of people who are pretty much isolated and if, like myself, they had stores of food, you know, they'd, they'd be fine, they'd be able to eat. Water, again, I've got stores of water. So, well, the water I put outside would be obviously contaminated or even washed away. But, like I say, I've got bottled water stored away, so we'd be okay for drinking initially for the first four or five days or, or whatever, however, however long it lasted. And also, we are able to cook because we have our off-grid cooking facilities. We have camping cookers that take gas canisters, gas cartridges. And finally, we would have power because we have our solar generators, our EcoFlow Delta 2, and also our All Powers S300. Finally, for the communications, we'd also be able to charge our mobile phones. So provided the cell towers were working, we'd be able to use power banks to keep the mobile phones topped up, make sure that they don't run out of power. So if there was signal available, we'd be able to communicate with people. Myself and Laura also have an iPhone 15. So one of the features that they do have, if you have no service, you can send an SOS message that is sent via satellites rather than via the cell phone towers. All you have to do is have line of sight to the sky. So obviously we'd have to be outdoors. Again, if there's flooding outdoors, that might pose an issue. But I suspect we'd be able to, to kind of lean out of the window and hold the phone out just to be able to, to get line of sight of the sky and hopefully lock on some satellites to send a message. So it's now autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. And in the UK, it is starting to get a little bit cooler. If there was a loss of mains power, as there is in the areas hit by the floods, we'd unfortunately have no central heating. And even so much as if the downstairs of our property was flooded, our wood burner would be out of action. We would not be able to use the, the wood burner to keep warm. Fortunately, we do have other options for keeping warm. We've got plenty of warm clothing. We've got woolen blankets. We've got big thick duvets, sleeping bags and such. On top of that, we've got woolly socks, woolly hats, gloves, 
so we have enough for each family member to ensure that we can keep warm. So I apologize if I've just rambled on in this video. It's just, like I say, it's an unscripted, unplanned video. It's just my thoughts on what's going on currently. I'd also love to hear your thoughts. If you want to drop them in the comments below, I'd really appreciate that. Let me know what you think. And obviously we take the time to reply to all people who comment to us, you know, you've taken the time to comment to us. It's only common courtesy if we reply back to you. So if you've liked what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. It really helps our channel grow. And I'll say thanks for watching and bye for now.